Hey guys, welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. Today I have another video for you. Uh, this video is going to be showing you how to enable the administrator on Windows 10. If you haven't heard about the administrator, the administrator is a hidden user that gives you access to overrides users' passwords or uninstalled programs or something that needs to be related as administrator. But, uh, let's say if you had standard users that don't give you access to be able to uninstall and to edit some settings like here. Um, if you haven't know that it's been disabled, that started being disabled when Windows Vista came. It used to be like um, available hidden to me on Windows XP. So let's say if a person forgot their password, you would just restart the computer, go into safe mode, and from there the administrator icon would pop up. From there you'll log in, go to users, change the other users' passwords, and it was that simple. But over time period, um, Windows Vista came, they disabled it, Windows 8, and currently still Windows 10 has been safe. But on for right now, I'm going to be showing you how to re-enable that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is just go ahead and go to the right corner where the start menu is at, and just right click and select Command Prompt. But be sure you choose the one that has the admin that will have administrator. You will need this for this to work. From that point, you will type in net user to see what current users you have. Right there, you see that it shows administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and type in net user, administrator. And it is currently telling you that the account active is no. And the account expires, it says never. And gives you more little details of the passwords that set and tells you when it's going to expire and other information. But right now, we only need to know that it is not active. So, to re enable that, you will type in net user administrator and type in slash and type in active colon and type in yes. That gives you the options to enable that user. So let's go ahead and click it and see what it says. It says it's active right now. You can do the same features on different users that are hidden, or let's say if a person leaves and you just want to disable it, and let's say they come back, you can re-enable it. It's the same concept. So let's go ahead and switch users and see what it does. And on the top where you're going to see, you'll say a user. You'll click it, and I'll say to switch to administrator. You could also sign out. You can do that too. You can switch over. There's multiple different features that you want to, but we just want to see if we can get onto the administrator. And here's the system. And right here on the left corner, you see the administrator is there. I'm going to go ahead and press sign. It's going to be the first time showing like, hi. It's going to be like regular information. It's just like a regular user when you get a new laptop or a computer. So give us a little bit of time. There it goes, it says it won't take long. Usually on older, like Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, usually the users didn't take that much time. But on Windows 10, it does give some time to load up. I think it might just be just for, just for time for people to see. Okay, so here you go. You are now logged in as administrator. You have some settings that aren't fully there, like this app right here, because it's an edge, because it's a, uh, Needs to be a signed in user and you can't do those features on Windows 10. But you do have access to the system. So if you wanted to, you can go to, let's see, let's go to setting. Let's go to users accounts. You can go to other users and you see this regular user right here? You can go ahead and say change account type. If you wanted, you can disable it to be a standard user. So that means the only one that can log on there is the administrator. It's that simple. There's also advanced stuff you can do if you go to Right click and go to control panel. From there, you'll go to users accounts. Right there, by managing another account, you'll see user. And right here, you can create a password, change the account type, you can delete the account, and lots of more features you can do on here. But you have access to the administrator. Now, if you're done using the administrator and you want it to be disabled, um, be sure you exit out. Go ahead and sign out from there. See, it has a different background, different color. It's administrator. I'm going to go back to user. I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. 
And to disable it, it's the same simple steps. By just going to the start and right clicking on it, you can go ahead and get on command prompt with administrator. You may be prompt, go ahead and press yes. Type in net, the user, put administrator, and put active. Before, like I almost misspelled this, I just noticed that. Administrator, active, colon, and type in no. So that means now if I search the administrator, it's going to be disabled. Let's see, it's active, no. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and log off and just see. There you go. The minister is not enabled. Um, thank you for watching from Helson's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on our next video.